Alright, this is the fourth video in the series of videos on arrays in Java. And in the first video we talked about a simple array, created a simple array. Second video we did some uh, simple sorting and simple uh, work with arrays. The third video we talked about parallel arrays and we created a parallel array and we sorted it and printed it out. In this one we're going to talk about multi-dimensional arrays. So, we are going to start with the array we ended with in video 3, and we are just going to expand upon that. We've got our uh, two arrays here. We've got the name array and the grade array, and we're going to assume, again, these are students. And so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to make the grade array multi-dimensional so that we can assign multiple grades to the students. And we're just going to do a block um, multi-dimensional array. We're not going to make this a ragged array, although we could. Um, we're going to keep it a block array, and uh, throughout this video we're going to uh, uh, add uh, the dimensions to the multi-dimensional array for the grades, and we're going to print it out. So, let's get started here. The, the first thing we're going to create is a multi-dimensional array. We need to tell it that it's multidimensional, so we need two sets of brackets after the declaration, and then when we go to declare it, we tell how many um, how many rows and columns we're going to have. Now, uh, in this one, we have eight students, so we're going to go eight rows rows, and let's say that we want to enter five grades, uh, so we're going to do uh, five for our second um, dimension. Now. Great, uh, multi-dimensional arrays should be kind of familiar to you. We've used them in Excel before. I'm going to open up Excel here. And uh, if you look at Excel, you've got uh, rows, 1 through 26, and columns are all labeled with numbers, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And if you go into Excel and, and uh, go to the options, um, Excel actually lets you change that to rows and columns in the formulas. And so if you do the R1C1 reference, you can see that uh, Excel uses rows and columns. And, and, and so in this case, it would be row 1, column 1, row 2, column 1, row 3, column 1, row 4, column 1. And this is row 1, column 2. And we create our, our grid that way. If we look at our grid view, basically it's 0, 0, 0, 1. Uh, again, it's the first number changes for the rows the second number changes for the columns. So on the second, the, the second number here is zero for the very first row, and it's one, I'm sorry, zero for the very first column, the second number is one for the uh, second column, and that is how our array grid works out. So going back to our um, Java here, we've just created a, a, a multi-dimensional array by adding just uh, four brackets and a number five. So let's go down and look, and obviously it, it broke our grade array here. Um, so we, we need to add the second dimension. And since this is going to be the first row of numbers, all we need to do is add the grid onto it. And so we're just going to go ahead and add the grid onto that. So we've added the first set of grades for our multi-dimensional array. Okay? Now, because I'm a slow typer, I'm going to um, paste in uh, a whole bunch of grids. So we have our five uh, columns. So let me uh, do that here. Okay, so if we look at this, we've assigned values to our to our arrays here. Okay, and so we have, uh, this is the first column, column zero. This is the second column. As we scroll down, we have the third column is two, fourth column is three, fifth column is four, and so we have our five grades for our multidimensional array. Okay, 
Now we're just going to um, comment out the uh, the for loop. We will actually um, see if I have time on this uh, video for that. If not, I'll create a, another video so we can make our for loop work. Um, but let's talk about printing it out. So now we have um, uh, our grade now has two dimensions. So we want to start printing our uh, grades out in the dimensions. So in this case, we're going to have to probably run an inside for loop to put our grades out. So we're going to have to change our the way we're printing the grades. So let's do that. Um, we're going to remove this. And let's go ahead and remove the line return because we're going to have to actually can kind of create a longer string here. Okay, so now we're just going to print that prints the name out. And now we need to print each one of the um, columns out. So we're going to write a for next statement to print out the columns. So let's go ahead and say for. Uh, let's use the uh, iterator T. Oops. T equals zero, T is less than, and when we're talking about the inside array, we need to tell which array we're talking about. And okay. Now, if we looked at our name, we did name dot length. When we look at our grade, because this is an inside array, we want the length of the inside array, uh, inside array length. So, or the second array length. So let's go ahead and uh, start looping through this. And so what we want to do is we want to build up, add to this um, the grades and a space between them. So let's go ahead and tell that to uh, print. And we're going to print out the grade. And the first the row number is going to be I yet. The column number is going to be T. And then let's add a space. OK, and let's do our system that out. That would help. So now what we're going to do is we're going to print out the name, and then we're for each um, grade, we're going to print out the grade, and then after we're done printing out all of the grades, we're actually going to want to add another print line. So and that's going to give us a, uh, another line. So let's go ahead and save that and run it. And see if we've made mistakes here, if it works for us. And it's going to, there we go. So there's our grades. And if we match them up, we'll look up there and say, oh, yeah, OK. So for uh, the first grade, that let's start with the top line, Bob. Bob got a 95, then he got an 85, then he got a 91. And if we look at our uh, output, uh, 95, 85, 91, 78, 98. So there we go. We've just um, created a multidimensional array. Uh, rather simply. We've assigned values to it, and we printed it out in uh, a very uh, rather nice fashion. Uh, looks pretty professional there. So now I think we have some time left, so let's go and take a look at our for statement. What changes would that make to our for statement? Because we're running, uh, really, we're running two arrays. We're running a parallel array, and we're running a multi-dimensional array. Okay? And as we're printing it out here, we're printing out our the name array, so that's the parallel array, and then we're printing out the grade array, which is a multi-dimensional array. Um, before we do that, let's turn to let's go and give us an average. Um, uh, typically, when we have something like this, we want to average out the grades. So, if we were to average the grades, how could we do that? Well, we know we have a for loop in there that is printing them out, so it's printing out 95, 85. 91, 78, 98. And so what we need to do is we need to, to create an accumulator. 
So for the first person, so we want this in our first for statement, we need to create an accumulator. So let's go ahead and create a um, integer uh, accumulator. So okay, and let's go ahead and set it equal to zero just to be safe. And then inside of here, let's go ahead and add. Um, so we'll say int equals, yeah, let's do plus equals, and we're going to add our grade. And again, we use the I, T. Okay, so we've got our um, a variable int integer, and we forgot the word E in our word grade, so we're going to take the uh, the accumulator, and we're going to accumulate the total grade, and then outside of our internal four that's going to add our grades, we're going to go and take that accumulator, and let's go ahead and add a, uh, a double so we can round it to one point. And so let's go, um, yeah, let's see, this would be, this would be average grade. So we have our double average grade, and let's go ahead and um, uh, let's go ahead and cast it as a double. Oh man, I'm not doing so good typing here. To take our integer divided by, and this again, we're going to cast this a double. And we want to cast the um, So we're taking the, uh, we know that the grade i dot length is the total number of grades. And so we're taking the, the sum divided by the total number of grades. And then we can also, let's go ahead and make a print f out of this. And we will add the, uh, uh, let's see, let's do the percent. Yes. ourselves a little space here, and let's go ahead and print out the, um, and that should do it. Okay, so now we do want to add a uh, new line here, so let's go ahead and add that too. Okay, so what this does for me is it uh, takes, and we're taking the, uh, we're totaling the grades with the int sum, and then we're going to take the average grade, which is equal to the uh, double value of int sum. And what happens is when you change this to a double inside, it becomes a double, and it keeps all the um, uh, decimal points. And so we're going to print that out. Let's go ahead and save that and run it. And there we go. We have our average grade rounded off. All right, so now we've not only created a multidimensional array, we iterated through the internal array, and we uh, added the grades up, averaged them, and printed them out. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we're going to look at how we're going to use the for next statement to sort this multidimensional array.